Hey everyone, um, so this is a first for me. I'm doing a makeup tutorial, um, but I think it is very relevant to travel indeed. So um, I am a travel blogger, vlogger. I think that term is now coined, so we're gonna go with vlogger today. <laughs> um, and I'm gonna show you guys how to create a fresh off the plane look. Um, and it's inspired by my upcoming trip to the Middle East. I'm gonna be on a plane for, well, Flying to New York from California, six hour layover in New York, and then an overnight flight into Amman, Jordan. So, needless to say, um, I'll most likely end up looking like a complete train wreck when I land. <laughs> I can't sleep on planes. So, um, I'm going to show you guys a lot of tips that I've learned from other beauty bloggers um, and how I've kind of put a twist on it to show you how easy it is to create a really, really simple and travel friendly makeup routine um, that I'll always have you looking like you just had like 10 hours of sleep. <laughs> so everything is gonna fit inside of a really small makeup bag, um, cause it has to be travel friendly, of course. Um, but I'll show you guys my tips and I hope you guys enjoy it. And you know, if you guys like my makeup and fashion tips from now on, we'll keep it going. Um, so hitting the ground running with fresh off the plane makeup. Hope you guys enjoy. So I like to travel light and I keep everything in a small bag. The first thing I start with is a face primer and I use L'Oreal Magic Perfecting Base and I apply it using a flat makeup brush. You can pick this up at any drugstore really, it's pretty inexpensive. So start by dabbing the tip of the brush in the primer and then you're going to go ahead and just blot it all over your face and then blend it in in a circular motion. Be sure to apply the primer all over, including your jawline, your neck, and your eyelids, as this is going to serve as the base for all of your makeup, and it's going to set it for the day. The next thing I'm going to apply is foundation. I use Makeup Forever High Definition Foundation, and I'm going to use it with the flat brush again. And just as we had applied the primer, we're going to do the same with the foundation. I just squeeze a little bit of the foundation onto the tip of the brush and blot it all over. And once I feel like I've got enough to cover my face, I'll start blending it in a circular motion. Make sure that while you're blending, you pay attention to your jawline because you don't want to look like you're wearing a mask, so be sure to blend it into your neck and also up into your hairline. When I'm tired, I get really dark circles under my eyes, so I use Maybelline Dream Lumi Camouflage Stick. It's in the color Radiant, which is almost like an orangish pink color. And when you apply it under your eyes, it really helps hide the dark circles and gives you a really refreshed look. So just blend it in, starting with the inside of your eye, and then work it in with your finger until it's completely blended in. I pay extra close attention to the underneath of my eyes so that I look well rested. I use Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage Concealer and I use a MAC foundation brush to apply it underneath my eyes just to give it a little bit more brightness. There's a triangle formation sort of from the inside of your eye to the outside of your eye and down to the base of your nose. Fill that area in with this camouflage concealer. It's going to brighten your face a lot and make your eyes look really well rested. So now I'm going to go in and fill in the other eye, blending it in that triangle sort of shape on my face from either side of my eye down to the base of my nose. I'm also going to use the Camouflage Concealer as a highlighter. So basically just go down the bridge of your nose, up through between your eyebrows, blending it into your forehead.
and also take it and go around your smile lines. It's gonna add highlight and definition to your face. Now I'm gonna take my flat foundation brush and just blend it a little bit and make sure it's all very subtle. Now that I have my foundation and concealer done, I'm gonna go in with a finishing powder. This is Makeup Forever's High Definition Powder, and I'm gonna apply it using a MAC multi-layer brush. They also make this powder in a travel size one, but I buy in bulk. <laughs> Just pour a little bit of the powder into the lid, take the brush and kind of whirl it around a bit, tap it to have the powder come to the tip of the brush and then in circular motions, blend it all over your face to set your foundation. Now we're gonna go in and contour our face. This is the Too Faced Glamour To Go kit. I got this at Sephora. It has a eight eyeshadow makeup palette and then the bottom slides out and there's a blush, lip gloss, and bronzer. So it's great because it has everything you kinda need for when you're traveling. We're gonna use a contouring brush. This one is from MAC. And use the bronzer. So whatever bronzer you like. I'm using the one that's with my kit. Contouring is basically just adding definition and highlighting and shadowing where you need to. So right now there's no definition in my cheek. I'm gonna use the bronzer to go in and sort of create a shadow in my cheekbone. Work your way up into the hairline and blend up into your cheekbone. Once we've accented our cheekbones, we're gonna go in and add a little bit of bronzer to the outside of our foreheads, naturally where we would get more sun and therefore more color. A little bit on our chin, and then we're gonna go in and make sure that we put the bronzer on our jawline and blend it down into our neck so that everything looks as natural as possible. I'm gonna apply blush with this same contouring brush that I used to contour. Just dab a little bit on the apples of your cheekbones. Smiling helps, you can see exactly where it should go. So just on the apples and blend upwards. And for the last bit of contouring, you just need a shadow brush and a blending brush. These two are from MAC. I'm gonna go in with my same Too Faced makeup kit using the bronzer that I'd previously used for my contouring. Gonna get a little bit of the bronzer on the shadow brush, and this may sound weird, but I'm gonna draw two lines just on the outside of my nose. And this is basically to make your nose appear smaller. It's gonna create that natural definition that you would have. Make sure you bring it all the way up into your eyebrow and all the way down to the tip of your nose. Then taking your blending brush, just go ahead and blend it in down onto the sides of your nose, leaving the bridge of your nose highlighted. And that's all there is to it. My fresh off the plane makeup tutorial to look natural and rested even after a long plane ride. <laughs>